wonderful to come talk to you today. I hope everybody is enjoying this wonderful November afternoon. Uh, where I am in Michigan, it has been hot. The last couple days have been in the 70s, and I've had my air conditioning on for the last two days. So it's been an amazing fluke in the weather, and I have really loved it and enjoyed it. And another thing I really enjoyed was all your wonderful comments last week about uh, the music tag and uh, what you felt about my answers and uh, you sharing with me your favorite songs and your favorite albums. And that touched my heart. There's no words to tell you how much that touched my heart to hear about the music that you love. So that was wonderful. Christmas is coming up and I know we want to save our money so we can buy gifts for other people. Uh, so, but we still want to buy skincare and makeup, so I thought uh, real quick I would just go through uh, about 10 of my very favorite drugstore products that I can't live without and that I would have to repurchase always. Uh, I love them so much. And some of them you've already seen me talk about in my videos, but uh, I thought kind of a 2015 November uh, recap of it all might be kind of nice for everybody. So um, you want to just dig in here? Okay. Let's do that. Alpha hydroxy acid. Uh, it's a cream. You get it at Walgreens. I think it's Studio 35. It's about nine dollars, and uh, it smells like Elmer's glue. I can't use this on my face, but what I do uh, use it on is my hands, and it's so important if you really want to have pretty hands uh, with no marks, age spots, or uh, those kind of funny crinkly little wrinkles. Uh, I have found that alpha hydroxy acid on my hands twice a day is the most amazing thing I have ever seen. It transforms your hands into something pretty. <laughs> so I can't say enough great things about uh, this. The next thing that I love at the drugstore is this NYX uh, natural palette. It's an eyeshadow palette. You know, I'm just thinking about all um, my men friends who subscribe to my channel and right, right around now I feel them clicking out because they're so bored out of their minds. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help it. Skincare and makeup is my passion. You know, I mean, I love all the other stuff too, but okay, anyway, I digress. Uh, the NYX Natural Palette, Eyeshadow Palette. I love it. I really love it because I'm not all that good uh, uh, with eyeshadow. Um, I'm not uh, a, an expert, uh, I'm dyslexic, so a V to me, what does that mean? It doesn't have any meaning, so I make a lot of mistakes. And the reason that I love the NYX palette is because it's not very pigmented. It has this cool little um, peach color, and I love that as a transition color because I can blend out all my little mistakes. And it's a very nice natural palette um, that I can wear every day without looking too made up. Uh, for six dollars it's a really nice little neutral palette so the next product that I love is the Milani uh, baked blushes and I know uh, uh, most of the gals who watch me already use Milani uh, blushes so uh, you know that they are very comparable to high-end blushes um, my very favorite Milani blush is the uh, Dulce pink or it could be pink Dulce I'm not sure um, but any blush that you get by Milani is going to be pretty much uh, a high-end feel and give you a very nice natural glow and a very pretty color. They have very pretty colors. All right, so, and then another one of my very favorite drugstore products is the True Match Concealer in Light. And I love this. I, I, I love it. I, I ab I've tried every concealer in the world and I think when you get older, you you know, you have the darkness around your eyes. Um, your eyes become a little bit um, more inset and you have that darkness. And so I would try with different, um, underneath my makeup, I would try with different concealers like a CoverGirl concealer. Um, I've tried them all and I put them underneath my makeup, almost like a strobing uh, uh, effect. Uh, and then put my makeup anyway every single one of them wouldn't give me the brightness I needed and wouldn't give me the evenness and then they would cake up on me only one 
one that gives me the intensity and that doesn't cake up is the True Match Light. I love it. I wouldn't be without it. So. All right, and so the next thing that I absolutely love is a $2 uh, bottle of vitamin E oil. I love vitamin E. Uh, the oil, this will last you for a whole year. Uh, I love to massage it into my scalp five minutes uh, at night. Um, every other night it uh, helps. Uh, you won't have a dry scalp with it and uh, that promotes hair growth and it just uh, gives your hair a nice wonderful feel and if you're getting ready and you overdo it with a hairspray you just put a little bit of vitamin E on your fingertips and then run your fingers through your hair and it just gets rid of all that extra ucky sticky hairspray that you've accidentally put in your hair so just for that reason alone I can't imagine life without my little bottle of vitamin E oil <laughs> yeah you guessed it <laughs> My rosehip seed oil. The more I use it, the more I love it. I could do another 20 minute video on it. I absolutely love it. I use it in the morning and I use it at night. Uh, I'm up to using uh, two drops in the morning and two drops at night. I mix it in with my serum. It's incredible. It's a game changer for me. There is nothing that I've used on my face ever that has changed uh, the tone and the texture of my skin as quickly as rosehip seed oil. Favorite thing for my hair, um, I love to get out of the shower and then just scrunch my hair and not really curl it um, if I'm in a hurry. Um, so I've never been able to find a product where you know you put it in your hand and it helps you kind of scrunch and give you like beach waves. I did find this one by Herbal Essence uh, and it's a sculpting gel and a little bit goes a long way. Uh, I got this uh, at the Dollar General for a dollar and it's probably the best dollar I have ever spent. I love it. It smells great and it takes away old lady hair. <laughs> So I like it. My favorite drugstore serum in the whole world is the dupe for Genevieve. It is the Youth Code Skin Recharger. I absolutely love it. I, Whenever I go to buy it, it's usually sold out, but my Hawaiian eye gel. I love it. You can get it at the grocery store. I keep it in the refrigerator. It's nice, icy, and cool. I use it in the daytime and I use it at night. Uh, I do not have crepey lids anymore. So I don't worry too much about my under eye uh, swelling. Uh, I have uh, allergies and I had a cold and this was my best friend during that time with my swollen eyes. So um, the Hawaiian eye gel, it's by Alba. It's cruelty free, no parabens, all natural. Real quick now, uh, the last two, um, my favorite eyeliner in the whole world. Uh, the Maybelline Precise Pen. I love it. I love it for two reasons. Uh, there's not a lot of product that comes out right away, so it's very, very forgiving to a novice like myself uh, or someone like myself who doesn't always have such a steady hand and has a thousand things on her mind and can't really pay attention to drawing a straight line. Uh, it's so forgiving, and I love that. And the other thing I love about it is that it does not sting my sensitive eyes. Uh, I have tried uh, Jessie's Girl eyeliner, I've tried uh, the CoverGirl eyeliner, I've tried some high-end eyeliners, and they were just, they didn't work for me. They either hurt my eyes uh, or they were just, they were too hard for me to control. Uh, but this particular one by Maybelline, the Precise Eye, mm, I love it. I love and the it. last thing that I absolutely love is, I think you all know that I had uh, ordered my uh, IT Cosmetic CC Cream and when I, you, <laughs> when I used the CC Cream and I put it on in a video, it was the only video I ever did where I actually had some of my subs say, I don't think that's working for you, Sue. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, it didn't seem to be a great color match, uh, but I sort of kind of figured that problem out later. But anyway, um, the main complaint was that it just turned my face into a skating rink. So, one of my subscribers told me to go get some Rimmel powder 
Uh, it's four dollars at the drugstore. I did that. Uh, so I used uh, the IT Cosmetics with a Rimmel powder and it worked. It toned it right down. Amazing. Four dollars for pressed powder by Rimmel. And it made my $40 uh, or $38 CC cream. I was going to send it back, uh, but then I decided, no, I'll keep it. I'm going to work with it with the powder. And, and there are days where I can use it. Which brings me to the Physician's Formula Argan Oil uh, BB Cream, which again, I did talk about it in another video. But as my skin has gotten better in these last few months, I have been able to actually put some of my makeup on on some days with my fingers, which I didn't usually ever do. I would use a beauty blender or a brush. Um, but now that my skin is in such better shape, I can actually use my fingers to apply my makeup. So I realized that the texture of the BB cream by Physicians Formula, the Argon one, the texture of this is exactly like the CC cream from IT Cosmetics. So I thought, oh my gosh, they are so alike in how they feel because you can't really feel a makeup too much when you're putting it on with a brush. Okay. So then I started to sort of compare some of the ingredients. And so one day I wore uh, the, the IT Cosmetics on one side and the uh, Argan Oil BB Cream on the other side. Nobody could tell the difference. I couldn't tell the difference. It's like they were the same makeup, the same coverage, the same texture. my drugstore picks and uh, they are all so uh, affordable and they're such good products at least for me I absolutely adore them and you know I was thinking about like doing a get ready with me <laughs> I have this kind of running joke with um, uh, Olivia with uh, I think it is her channel is um, makeup fun with Olivia uh, and <laughs> um, we were talking the other day about how I was going to do a get ready with me, only I told her nobody would want to. It's like that old Lenny Bruce joke. Uh, this woman invited him over for dinner and she was wearing a see-through dress and he didn't want to. So that's how I feel about the get ready with me. Like, you know, who wants to get ready with me? And I was telling Olivia the other night, you know, well, you know, I had the same look. It's the look I had in 1988. And she quit back, hey, 1988 was a good year. Oh, she is such a doll. Make up fun with Olivia. I don't know. When I watch her, I just smile. Uh, she looks like all the ladies in my family. She has these big brown eyes and such a contagious smile. She's so sincere and so real. And I just love that about her. I mean, you have real conversations with her. So I hope everybody has a great week and a great weekend. And as always, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for uh, being here, sticking with me, watching my videos, and all your wonderful heartfelt comments. I read them, and sometimes I read them again, and I answer you, and I answer you not because I think I have to, but because I want to, because it enriches my life. You enrich my life. And you know that. I know you know that. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, you have a wonderful week, a wonderful weekend. You take care of yourself and come on back because I need to see you soon. And you know that.